Hey guys, this is Battleship Cobra, season one, episode three. I'm gonna do configuration of the remote support platform. So as a consultant, you can get a, with, if you're 9.2 or 9.3 or above, you get a free SAP Pro license that you need to use, but you need to configure some stuff in the RSP first. I'm gonna show you how to configure it in RSP so it's automatic to send the SSRs, the system status reports, uh, and then you get your free license. So I'll talk about that. Follow me on LinkedIn, linkedin.battleshipcobra.com, and I'm also gonna be doing a podcast. So check out podcast.battleshipcobra.com. I'm gonna talk about uh, just general topics, do like the consultant's corner style stuff. I wanna produce that a little bit more frequently. So uh, subscribe to me there. I'll be on, I'm already on iTunes, I think, but I just have some demo stuff on there. Um, but yeah, I should have some episodes by the time you see this. That's it for me. Let's check out this video now. Peace. First thing that you need to know about the remote support platform is you need to install it. So go to your regular patch. I'm on up at three PL seven packages, remote support platform. I like to make the login and password the same as the B one site user. Uh, it prompts you to make your own name. It's very straightforward. If you don't know how to connect your own SQL, you know, get a, get another consultant who can, you should be able to do that. So you run that, you install it. Boom, it's done. This is what you get. I'm not gonna go through it. It's so simple. Just all you have to do is basically make a login and then connect your databases to the SLD. So all you need is your SQL um, credentials or HANA. So the only thing you need to do to get the support license is get this SAP connection going. So I'm gonna have to blank out a lot of this because there's no other way to show it and there's customer stuff here. So I'm going to, I'm going to blank it out, but let me see what I can show you. So here's the page of the landing, the launch pad, sorry. So you go into the launch pad, you go, what would you like to do? Support my customers, pick the customer you want. I'm just going to pick one. You'll see all this stuff here. You want this technical user. So you click it, again, like almost all this is going to be blurred out, guys. So you make a new RSP user under technical users. You push this little plus, request a new one, put in the information. It's, you know, sometimes it takes four hours, sometimes it takes eight hours. It's getting shorter, it seems, every time. It'll come in inactive. And then all you have to do is click and activate it. And the activation, all you're really doing is putting a password on there. That takes a little bit longer, not too much time. Once you have that information, you can use the S user associated with that tech user in order to gain access to that particular customer's free license and your own login. This also is how they'll uh, how SAP will communicate to you if you need to share a database or uh, you need to uh, do something like that. Or they'll publish uh, fixes to that to your to your specific customer. Pro tip: I kind of debated saying this, and it might be patched, but you can use for the sake of speed you can use the same S user across multiple customers as long as you don't ever have to log an incident with SAP that you need to communicate through the RSP or send a database, okay? If you use another customer, you know, it's not another customer's user technically. You just need to run the system status report it doesn't matter. It'll go. It'll come from the same customer's user. That's fine. You just need a technical user. Is it better to have one per customer? Probably. Is it going to kill you? No. Especially if you need to just get quick access to something, or it's a new system or a test system, and you just boom. You just need a, a channel to SAP. So all you need is the S user and whatever password you activated. Configuration channels. SAP channel, tech user, 
password, test it successfully connected. You have to connect successfully. Uh, task results. This is important. Approve automatically because I'm going to show you how and why that can be a pain in the butt if it's not. Okay. Save. Okay. Close. Tasks. So what you need are you need to run your uh, task risk, you know, wherever it is, the task, it'll make you run task retrieval. I don't know why it's inactive, but it'll make you run a task retrieval task, which will 100% get you the system status report. I probably just deactivated it for the sake of this demo, whatever. System status report right here. And you need a task results upload. Okay, so what you need to do in order to make your system work is you need to have the databases checked. So you'll have your databases. I don't have my other testing database. I just have my main demo database right here. So you need to have the databases you want checked. Sometimes you're going to have issues logging in because you made a new demo database or test database and you did not check the boxes here. So once the boxes are checked, save, I don't need to save right there, run an SSR. It's really easy. Run, and then you just sit there. So this is done. Now what you want to do is do your upload. But what you're going to see here is this task is going to automatically do this tab's work. So you can see. If I didn't set that to auto approve, it would be awaiting approval. So we want what we run to auto approve. And then what we'll do is right now we can push upload all. Okay. And that's it. So that does the system status report to SAP. It, it doesn't technically matter if it's the actual customer's tech user, the system you have done the system status report on is now active to log in with your support user. So I'll show you uh, being able to log in, then I'll show you how I automate it. Okay, because that system status report is good for one week. And then you have to go back in every week and continue to do the system status report in order to keep the license. But there's a workaround. I'll show you that. So all you have to do is go uh, admin, setup, general users. It's this mysterious support user. Maybe you didn't even know what it was. So this support user, it's all good here. You can set them up as, you know, set, set as a user just like anybody. And uh, it has all the options there. It just doesn't need a license. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to assign any licenses. I just go to password. I'm just going to set it to one, two, three, four. Then you go to log in. If you go to log in and you get the uh, message saying remote support platform, you must run an SSR before logging in. And then you still have this same client open and you do your SSR and upload it. If you try to log in again with the same client that was still open, it'll keep giving you the error. Okay. Close your SAP Business One client, do the SSR, then reopen it. It's just a weird bug, uh, so trust me. I've I've like just been cursing SAP. I've been like, it doesn't work. This is so stupid. I did the SSR. It's because you didn't close your client be after before doing your SSR. So what you're going to get is this box. And so this is the only different thing that you're going to get. So real name, you have to type something in there because this could be used by all the consultants of your in your firm. Log in. What are you doing? You can type some stuff here. You don't need to. So you're automatically logged in and you're under the support and you have a free user. I You can notice here licenses. support. I don't have any SAP licenses. I don't know. For some reason I have the add on ones, but I don't have a pro or anything. And uh, I don't even have a B1 up license in this. It's just included. It's amazing. It's a really, really cool tool. 
Uh, so the other thing that you can do is as a customer, you can log, uh, you can see who has logged in. So you can go support user log. And um, you could see all of the logins here that have been made. So you can see today, Mike, what happened, transaction analysis, so type stuff here. Yeah, there was there was my thing. So you can see session time. I did a few tests. So you can see all of the, you know, you can see the partners, what they're doing, who logged in and keep track of it. Okay, so now that you've logged in, you wanna know how can I avoid doing that SSR every week? So here's my trick that I do. In the active tasks, I go to system status report. I go to schedule. I go weekly. I do mine just Sunday, 12. This never works, it's all wonky as shit. 12, 15, Sunday. Save, weekly, okay? Then upload task result. Schedule, weekly, Sunday, 12.30, and then I just do that. And that is, that's it. And then that, just by doing that, it'll, the service will run, and it'll do it 12.15, it'll run the status reports, 12.30 on Sunday, it'll uh, upload them, and then you'll have another week. So every week it'll do it. So, I mean... You're literally getting a free pro license, free add-on licenses. I'm not advocating customers use this. It's not technically for customers. It's for consultants to have a way to log in and provide high quality support without having to purchase a full professional license just to maintain your system. So this video could potentially save you thousands of dollars. So with that, I'm going to summarize. You have to install your remote support platform from your patch level. Install it. Make sure your databases are selected. Make sure you approve task results automatically. You need to go to the launch pad and request a technical user for the customer you're using. You can use a single S user for all of them, but you get the S user off the portal, activate it, put the password, come back to channels and in the SAP channel, put that S user for the customer, run your system status report, upload the tasks, go in SAP and get your, your support user, change the password, you don't have to assign any licenses, close your SAP Business One client, log in. Remember, if it's a HANA system, it has to be capital S U P P O R T. SQL doesn't matter, it can be capital or lowercase. Log in, put your name and what you're doing, boom, you have a full license. Thank you guys very much. If I saved you thousands of dollars, you can donate it to me. No, um, go to linktree.battleshipcobra.com to support me, all my stuff's there. Linktree, it just has everything, my website, my Udemy courses, etc. Thank you guys so much, you're all awesome. I get lots of messages from you. Uh, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. If you have any suggestions, for videos, post them in the comments. I like to take time to answer all of my students' questions in the Udemy courses. So if you have specific questions about Crystal Reports or SQL, uh, sign up for my courses. Boom, I will do a lot of stuff, queries, help you with uh, Crystal Reports. I have a free course, my remote course. Check linktree.battleshipcover.com. It's a free Udemy course you can take about working efficiently remotely from home or wherever. Thank you guys so much. Bye for now.